so no, mistakenly so now we will do one thing we will discuss about the architecture of uh, where it does we are going to discuss right so let me give you a clear understanding here how exactly this architecture is going to work assume that um, we are having a totally a five disks like this assume that it might be a local disk or the disk might be coming from any storage whatever it might be right so assume that this particular disk i'm going to give you a naming convention sda stb sdc std and st right and uh, assume that inside the sda we have an os disk because linux operating system linux os is running from here right and uh, later we have installed veritas right so okay fine before we install a veritas let me ask you one question how do we see the disk inside the operating system what command we try to use f disk hyphen l or we try to run ls kasi okay or we try to run ls blk is a command there are many other commands we have but these are the standard commands that we are going to use to list the disk information good now on top of this linux operating system we have installed vxvm so once we install a vxvm what happens here i'll tell you see whatever the disk that you are going to see inside the veritas the same disk that you can see inside the veritas also so i'm just trying to copy and paste this is a reflect of your os disk inside the veritas remember this is a reflect that is this is not 10 disks this is a the same disk that we have inside the os but you are going to use a separate commands to use to list inside the veritas because you should able to list the disk inside the veritas also right that's the reason so what is a command that we are going to use inside the uh, veritas vx disk list we are going to use this is a veritas level command that we are going to use it so okay fine we are going to use a veritas level command here fine we have run this way vx disk list command here to list the disk that is well and fine so now good we are able to see the same disk inside the veritas right now okay fine we are able to use see the same disk inside the veritas that is fine but um, if you want to use a disk under a control of veritas we need to set up a disk so if you want to set up a disk so we use some commands to set up a disk so now we have set up all this this particular disk inside the veritas so as we set up a disk under a control of veritas as you know that it is divided into private and public region right so all this particular disk are divided into private and public region right so every and disk it, has public and private region. yeah yes every okay. disk has a private and public region this is very important once you set up it might be any size boss you might have a disk oh. of 10 gb2 it might be a disk of 10 tb so you'll ask me whether we will get a have a 10 tb physical disk no the physical disk limitation is up to 4 tb only right now in the current market now you will ask me then how come a 10 tb came 10 tb i got it from a san lan when it comes to a lan there is no restriction if you ask me we need a 10 tb single lan yes i can provide because inside the san storage you know there is 1 tb 1 tb disk i will merge all the 10 tb uh, 10 disk of 10 1 tb and it will become 10 tb you're getting it so okay. like this it goes on so this is how exactly it is going to come here how oh, good so as we we set up the disk under the control of veritas now we divide the disk into private and public region private and public region as you know that private region maintains the internal configurations of the veritas public region is for a you know disk space which we can use how we will use by creating a volumes clear is this clear now good hmm. now we want to create it if you want to use this particular four disk inside the veritas there is one condition what is that condition is we need to configure a disk group we need to configure a disk group this round color line says that this is a disk group so if each disk space is 10 gb 10 gb 10 gb what will be the size of my disk group the disk group size will be 40 gb this is my disk group here 
this is my this group and like an example i'm trying to put the this group name as oracle oracle dg okay this is what exactly and this group size is 40 gb this is how exactly it is going to work <coughs> This is how exactly it's going to work. Now everything is fine that this group size is 40 GB here, Oracle DG, and this is what exactly, right? So now everything is fine. Now what we will do is, <clears throat> what we will do is very, very simple here, that this group has been configured. So as I told you, this group is dynamically resizable. You can add the disk, you can remove the disks, automatically the disk group size dynamically gets increased and decreased. Now everything is good. You understood about the disk group here, right? Yeah. And always when you configure a disk group, right? When you put the disk inside the disk groups, the disk group information automatically gets updated into a private region. Updates into a private region, remember. Now good. On the top of the disk group, now we will try to create subdisk and plugs. No, we never create subdisk and plugs. What we will do, you know, we create only volume. I have configured the volume. Assume that this is my volume, right? I'm telling you when you're creating a volume based on the layout and size, the entire structure is defined, right? Assume that you have defined size is 500, not 500, you have defined the size as 2 GB and the layout is something called concat. You're getting it? Okay, mm. concat. So now what it will do, you know, immediately below it will create a plus. Okay, and it immediately creates a sub disk here because each disk size is 10 GB, right? Can it accommodate 2 GB here? Yes, right. It can. It can. It can. Yeah, yeah. It can. Right. So this is how exactly the link will be like this. Remember, the link will be like this. You're getting my point. Now assume that you want to create one more volume that is called Stripe. That is called Stripe. Right. If you want to create a Stripe volume, assume that this is my Stripe volume. This is my Stripe volume. Right. Below that, it will create a plex. And Stripe means what it will do, you know, assume that you're creating a 4 GB Stripe volume. So it will create a 2 GB sub disk here, a 2 GB sub disk here. Right. The link will be like this. You're understanding, right? Based on oh. the size and layout. Based on the size and layout. You're getting it? Okay, this is something called volume. Or I'll just try to put STRIP type volume. This is flux. And this will be SD1 and SD2. SD1 and SD2. This is what it's going to be. Now I'll give you one more example. Now you will ask me, okay, boss, I am creating one concat volume only, but my client asked me to create a concat volume of 15 GB. Now how it will create? Tell me. Okay, it creates a sub disk from here. So uh, take an example. It created a sub disk of uh, something called, after remove, after creating a two GB, it remains 8 GB, right? It creates 8 GB here. And after 8 GB, how much left? 7 GB it will create from here. You understand? Okay. Right? So this is how exactly it will plan based on the volume size and layout that the, the entire architecture depends, depends, depends here. You're understanding the architecture? Mm. Yeah. Yes. So this is this is very important in, in the other. I mean, in future sessions, definitely you will be understanding more because we will discuss this in detail when we discuss about volume management. 
your understanding right this is how exactly yeah. it is going to work i hope up to here any doubts no no tomorrow then i'll stop here i'll hold here tomorrow we will discuss about demons and we will go with the other configurations we will try to set up a lab okay. tomorrow so before i set up talk about a lab 